Did you think we were done with Project Jasper? We did too, but guess what? We're not. No, you didn't think we were done, ever? You're never done. <laughs> That's true. That's what Jeep stands for, right? Just empty every pocket. Yeah, keep it going. Well, what are we talking about today, though? We looked at the awesome Jasper project. We know it has that new V8 in it. We have this fantastic lift, these super sweet rims on there. And then we're like, but it's all black and looks so cool. And then you come up against these taillights. And it's just not acceptable, is it, Dr. Gore? Well, that one's broken. And, and to boot, we have a broken one. I mean, you could see right there. You agree, right? I mean, look, look, look. That does not look right. Looks like awesome, 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 awesome. Also awesome. You're welcome. <laughs> not awesome. So what are we going to do about it, Dr. Dork? I uh, figured since I needed to replace one tail light anyway, I might as well go with something smoked. Yeah, man. You know, to blend in Can with we, everything else. Because everything else looks awesome. And like so that. I bought a set on eBay from a seller named Razor Motor. Ooh. Razor Motor. Wow, I Razor can't say that. Razor Motor. Motor. I like it, Razor Motor. We'll put Razor. a link in the description to, yeah. if you want to take a look at them. Yeah, we will, because we think they're going to be cool. We always say, if it's cool, put it at the link in the description, which we will. Stand under this awesome umbrella tree. And you know, you thought this was a fir, didn't you? No, umbrella tree. All right, let's see if he can do this. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, keep on coming. Ooh, a little tiny bit more, probably right there. That's probably about as close as we're gonna get. I like it, okay, beautiful. All right, we are in place, and I take it that is the box with the goodies, with the goods. Yes. So, that's pretty decently, that's good. That's a good start. What's the name of the company? Razor Motor. Okay, so far, good job on packing razor motor. We ate when stuff shows up busted. Oh, oh my gosh, I love them already. Those are the wrong, that's the wrong side, I think. Where is it, this side? I don't know. That is the right side, because it slopes down. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look at those. Oh, wow. They look like something oh from- Oh, my gosh, look They look like that. something from the Empire and- That Star Wars. is so cool. All right, I already like them. I already like them. Oh my gosh, those, you can't even see my face. They look so cool already. I cannot wait to do this. All right, so let's uh, let's do some before and after, I think it's gonna be really important. All right, hit the brakes, yo. Okay, so we got a light coming up here. Let's do blinker and taillight and all that stuff. Okay, there's our blinker. All right, that's pretty ugly. Okay, the running lights or whatever, tail lights. So really there's only like, so far the one up here, does this not light up? That's brake lights. Oh, now they're on. Yeah, let off the brakes. Okay, they're just, wow, those are really dim and they weren't on at first. Okay, so let's try backup light too. Can you do that without the thing running? Okay, all right. Cause that's important too. I'm hoping that the backup light's brighter. But these really just look old and and old and not very bright, not very crisp. So now we got a good comparison. You know what I'm saying? Let's get these puppies changed. So check this out. When you put this side by side, without it, you think, okay, yeah, maybe I see what you guys are saying. I, it could, might look like a little older, outdated. But, but look what happens when you put it side by side. Instantly, does that one not look super old and outdated? That is so cool. And it does look Star Warsy. Star Wars. Empire ish. Oh, we're gonna get sued now. I mean, this lone mouse. Yeah. I mean, I just wanted to point that out because sometimes you don't really know how something looks, not really, until you put up something out side by side and then it really stands out. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. So, what are we doing here? This shouldn't be too hard of a process, right? I mean, I haven't done one of these before, but I think we have two screws and a bit of yanking to do. So, screw, screw, and then we can look at the new one. And we see oh, that there's right. a ball right there at the top that goes okay. into a socket. Yes. Oh my gosh. You have, if you watch the channel, you know how awesome it is to have a replacement part or a used part or whatever so that you can look at and go, how does this come <laughs> apart? Because otherwise we're just pulling on stuff. We don't know if we're about to break it. So yeah, we got one little compression socket. I don't know what those are called, but that's what I'm calling it. It's a compression socket. Okay. A couple of drains actually. Yeah. A couple of drains here and here. Right, well, those are cool. vents, well, but they're pointed down. So you hopefully don't get water so into it. So we need to turn those up. 
Yeah, let's drain water into it. And then I was wondering, this the vents on here are just for look, those slats. We've got that same look here, which is pretty sweet, I think. It, but it more kind of maintains. It. More, yeah, that's true. Those go up from top all the way to the bottom, and these guys are only a little bit. And I don't, I look like they do something, but I'm pretty sure they don't. We'll find out. Okay, all right, let's get to cranking. Okay, are we, are we rolling? We're live, yo. I should have said that, and action. <laughs> that's your, bro. <laughs> Oh, super hard. So much work. You need to get a torque bed or something. Big wrench. Ooh, is that? Supposed that's to be that's loose? supposed to be the loose. Oh, yeah. is it? That's a little plate or something that. Yeah, it's just to make loose. it look prettier. Oh, it's on. It's it's already on now. Yeah, I think you have to break it off. Whoa. Interesting. Okay. It's just a. It's a just so you don't see plate. all this stuff. Yeah, it's a pretty plate. Well, that's nice. You don't have to reuse it. <clears throat> okay, so. <laughs> I was gonna say that might be a little harder than we thought, but wow, that I gotta came, get rough with it. Apparently, that came out like but exceptionally easy. Is that looking? That grommet still looks good. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be oh, broken, but okay. it's it must be. It must just be to hold it from sliding side to side, rather than actually a compression one. Or it's just worn. Or it's just worn. Okay, and then we've got we've got this thing right here. It's one of these red doohickeys. Okay. That you have to. Oh, you slap a I might need over. to get a different screwdriver. Yeah, you might need a flathead. Yeah. So, that's one of those ones that, oh yeah, piece of cake with the right tool. Yeah. That's like nothing. And then. I don't know what the problem was. You have to squeeze this, I believe. Oh, it's a double action. <sighs> squeeze, where? Right. This right here. Oh, that's the spot. Oh, yep, out at the back. Right there. Okay, out at the back. Exactamundo. And it's out. I'm so excited. We're gonna put in the new one now. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna increase horsepower and performance by i'm i'm it's not it's just tail light so it's probably only gonna be about a seven percent boost in power <laughs> <laughs> there's even dirt in there this thing is we're so dirty you've been systematically cleaning it everywhere Except this I'm not. this thing like, well, that's true you you go back and look at some of the videos it, it was filthy underneath oh my gosh i'm not even paying attention wow <laughs> Dude, that looks so good. Oh, I really like that. That's a win right there. But we're definitely, we're gonna see how they look. We, I was gonna just about to say we'll post the description, but we, we need to turn it on and see how this looks. But I'm really hoping that this is like a running light. That would be so sweet. It would be so cool. And we got a little bit of red down here, but there ain't much red. Is that a just reflector, I wonder? I bet this backup light with this clear lens is gonna be way brighter. I think. Am I getting way ahead of myself here? This is, You're just guesstimating. I, <laughs> I think this is this. I am. So we can get back in and redo everything with just one light installed? Yeah. So you can compare side to yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what, That's a good idea. I'm a genius. You don't call him Dr. I don't know genius how to run a for nothing. I'm a apparently, but I am a genius. Yeah, actually, okay, this is important. I, we should talk about this because a lot of times aftermarket parts, they are not a good fit. They're not exactly the same dimensions and it just doesn't go in well. Is this one, did that one go in place and feel pretty good? Well, there's a slot here so you can adjust the fitment of this. Oh, there is? And I want it pushed all the way it's in meaning, basically. Meaning th there, that's... It goes this direction. Oh, okay. And was that factory or this on these, these on? Factory, the, the hole in the metal. Oh, that's the, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So you, as you're screwing yeah, so through. Those two screws. Okay, gotcha. Well, yeah. So let's look. So a way that you could tell whether it's quality or not, right off the bat, besides look, is you just look at the reveal lines. Now he's got some adjustments he can make, but if this was not molded very well, it isn't going to matter. Okay, there you go. I was going to say that's a little wider there, but that's pretty darn tight, all the way across the top. I can't screwdriver with my left hand. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, that flap. So you did not have to take it off. I didn't take it off, but um, maybe it would have fit a little bit better. Oh, is it, sure. is it hitting right on that edge right there? I'm I think sure. it is. Yeah, so I think maybe it I should loose. take it back off and break it off. Well, or, uh, yeah, you're right. Left-handed <laughs> screwing is weird. There we go. I'll hold that. <laughs> uh, we'll do a three-handed maneuver here. And yeah, that needs to be pressed in. There we go. Now we're looking sharp. <coughs> yeah, that all looks good now. There we go. We got it. I can't see what I'm doing. We, we still got it. 
Okay, so. All that's right, so that's in. In. So, the, so one of the other tests will be closing it and seeing how that fit looks there, but that definitely looks good to me. So get back in. And so let's close this baby side. up, yeah. Oh, close it up so we can see the dent. Yeah. <laughs> we, hey, we have a fix in the works for that dent. It's actually laying over there in the rain. You can't see it, but don't worry, we're gonna fix that too. Okay, let's look at this here. That is pretty clean reveal. That's pretty clean. Let's look to see how this one is. Yeah, this one's a little bit, this one's even tighter on the bottom. It bulges it out the top. too. Did you notice that? Oh yeah, let's look at the shape on this. So yeah, this one does come out. And maybe that could be adjusted with that slot I was talking about. Maybe. Does it slide in and this way too? Isn't the slot just this way? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Let's look at this one. Okay, this, I mean, this one does come out a little bit too, but it just looks so much better. Well, I mean, right off. here, it's a big difference in how far it sticks out. Yeah. Because this is like more or less flush. A little oh, bit right there. This oh, I wasn't even looking at that. Oh, dude, dude, check that out. Wow. That's way different of a reveal. Well, I like this one a lot better. That looks way, like, check it out. That's like almost, it's not recess, but just a touch. Wow, well, that's cool. All right, oh my gosh. Headlights. Okay. <laughs> Dude. Oh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta walk around this. <laughs> That's a, look at that. I thought that was gonna be white and it's totally red. It looked awesome. Look, look, and look, a couple of little lights there. Those are a little different. Wow, that's so dim. That's so dim compared to this one. That is a lot more visibility. Let's check it from the side too. Those are really interesting. Hold on. Yeah, oh my gosh, you can't even see this one. Okay, let's. Let me get the back, let's try brakes. Oh, I'm digging this, slides a lot. Modernizing a vehicle. Um, yes, hit it. Brakes. Okay, off and on again. <clears throat> I'll turn the tail lights off. Yeah, okay, so that is dual purpose. That's like headlights and tail lights, and this has got its own. All right, whoa, that's neat. Okay, now turn the taillights back on. Man, that is so neat looking. And so much brighter. So, okay, just, just taillights. If you just look at those, very, very big difference. Okay, now just brake lights. Yeah, especially if you get down here. That one isn't as big a difference. I, maybe? What do you think? Maybe not a huge difference there, but... What a difference in look. Okay, let's try blinkers. Let's get back around here. Okay, that's that top part. Oh, I'm way far back. Oh yeah, hazards, that's a great idea. And you can see both. So that's fairly bright, even compared to this one, but. So that's what the top bulb is. Okay, let's try backup lights now. Pretty bright. I bet you at night that one's a little bit brighter. It's not LED though. That's interesting to me. That's not LED. These are LED. That is not. But it is a clear lens, even though it's slightly smoked. I'd say that's going to be a lot brighter than that one. Okay. Hold on a second. These actually are functional. They go all the way through. I can see you. Thank see? You. What do those do? Those what slamming, are those for? Those are for slamming doors. Is that what that's for? Yeah, I mean, it, it comes through here. But they just go straight through the light. I guess they go to the back, don't they? And that's what lets the air out. Okay, well, do the new ones let the air out? I hope so. I if hope not, so I'm too. gonna have to pop I mean, my ears every time I shut a door. Yeah, there's. that's not sealed. Yeah, it's not sealed. Yeah, I don't yeah, think we're good. We'll find out. This side, see the slots that uh, Tom was referring to right there? That's your adjustment, so you just can't see it when this flops over. Very nice. And these are also attached so i don't think there's any breaking that needs to be done here we didn't break that side off and that side certainly you won't need breaking either so confirmed no breakage so the guy selling this asked us if we could take it up and get some pictures of it in the wild now i don't know if they meant out in just traffic and stuff but around these parts the wild actually means up in the woods so i better jump in before he leaves me but let's get it up in the woods and see how magnificent it really looks first step of getting in the wild is getting out to pavement, which we have successfully done. Bump, not bad at all. 
course, there's a fellow out walking around over uh, there. He's a very, very happy fellow. Probably happy to be on film. Something totally unexpected and very, well, maybe not totally unexpected, but we didn't think about it, but there's a hill right here. And we feel like we should probably try to pull our way up on that a little bit. That's what I think. Oh, I don't know. We better try out four low. I've never used four low. Oh my gosh. Exciting stuff. Let's turn that down low so we can, in case we hear something we don't like. Crunch. So far sounds good. It's creeping right along. <laughs> oh, this is cool. We are getting steep. Oh, I want to see you get out now. I'm getting out now. We have to examine it from the outside. Four wheelers just went by. <laughs> four wheelers. That's when you know you're getting in better territory and four wheelers go by. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, the door almost hit me. Not bad. Not bad, we got a little bit of incline. I say go for it, man. That ain't nothing yet. <laughs> Woo! Uh-huh, that's what I'm talking about. Probably feels way steeper than it looks out here, huh? It feels pretty darn steep. <laughs> You're not even slipping. And you ain't set tripping. If you ain't slipping, you ain't set tripping. Uh, I like it. That's a new saying, by the way. If you ain't slipping, you ain't set tripping. All right, tail lights. That's about it, a little slippage there. It's pretty wet out. It's always hard to tell when you're on film how steep something is. That's actually pretty steep. When you step back a little bit, you can see he is pretty good incline right here. I mean, that's not bad at all. So, and I gotta say, man, I love these lights. Now that you've seen them though, what's your impression? You haven't got to see them till just now. I actually haven't, you haven't looked, looked at them yet. You better check it out. They definitely improve the look of the vehicle. They're not like all black and then... <laughs> and then these, no. <laughs> and so what's the name of this company again? We gotta get this right. Razor Motor. Razor R Motor. R-A-Z-O-R -R Motor. We'll definitely put a link so we don't screw it up. Well, Razor Motor, I'd say that's a win on these. Look at the difference on this. That's a huge improvement. And in my opinion, anytime you could do something pretty simple and get a notable improvement on the look, I'm all about it. So that was pretty cool. That's our quick little install review on these babies. It, again, we'll post a link in the description because I think it's worth it. Have yourself an awesome rest of the day. If you like Jeeps, go check out some of the other videos, comment on the lights, ask us questions, whatever you want. We love it, don't we, Dr. Gore? Yes. Yes, that's the answer is yes. <laughs> We're gonna take you out with the pad and penny fist bump French if you never had it. It's amazing. Whoop ow. Mm -hmm. You never think my stuff is funny. I was like, hair, wardrobe, makeup, check, check, mic. Everybody in place. And that's the look I get. Right there. Hmm. Like Darth not funniest. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you up here in the middle of almost nowhere in the rain? Holy moly. Sweet wow. fancy Moses. Sweet fancy pants Moses. He wore fancy pants. I don't know if he knew that. Mm. <laughs> Let's try it on the other side. <laughs> I don't know. I don't imagine that was a man that probably wore too fancy a pants. I imagine he probably well, was like the, you know, those. Was, in his early life, he probably had fancy pants. He, oh, he did. Early in Moses' life, some people refer to him as fancy pants Moses. <laughs> When he was still in the Pharaoh's court and all that. Look, it's a fact. It's a fact, Jack. It's a fact, Jack. Mission, erase all evidence. We gotta run up to the hill. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that looks so good. 
Oh, those are very visible brake lights. Okay. That's why we did the drive away because up close, I wasn't sure how bright those brake lights were gonna be, but there, that was very visible. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. That thing's got a V8 in it. A fuel injected V8, no less, from another Mustang. Slightly newer. Uh, how long is it gonna take to get that patent you've been talking about? Well, it's patent pending. It takes a while sometimes. The federal government's probably involved, right? Probably. Review, they gotta do big, massive background checks, the FBI stuff, you know, all that. Is it gonna stay? <laughs> that might. That's I, awesome. I don't think it would stay if I put it in this way. No. <laughs> nope, that, <laughs> that is a no-go. 